G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me, and today I wanted to show you guys how I put together this tripod with adjustable hanging grill made especially for a DIY fire pit build. So let's put it together and see what I think of it. This is our backyard. You've got the veggie patch in the middle, the main orchard on the right hand side, and two thirds down the back there is our picnic area. It's between the sort of back of the mongrel veggie patch, which I'd call it, and our poultry area, which is chickens and ducks all running down the back there. So that's where I'm going to set it up because I'm keen to see if this thing will fit actually properly over my fire pit. I'm not sure how much, make sure you read the instructions. I'm not sure how interesting you guys might find this, but I mean, this is, you know, what we found. Uh, well, we found it yesterday at a um, barbecue shop. I've been looking for something similar and it goes together pretty easily. Pretty much just screws in together. There's a plate that goes on top and then you just screw the legs on. And then you put the pulley system in that just bolts on. Put the chain on. And it basically hooks onto the side of one of those legs. Then just the plate itself, and that's the main thing I was after. I'd been searching for a way to put a grill across my fire pit, and uh, I'm pretty happy with the tripod type. There's all different ways you can do it. You know, you can do a swinging grill and uh, one that just sits on the brickwork, but this one here I think will give us more versatility. And I just quite like well you know the the eyeball of it and also just the mechanics of it uh, I just think it's going to be practical and and it's going to work really well so this is how the mechanism works pretty simple it's just got a loop there it's a pulley system pull it up and down so that you can just get the heat exactly right or get it out the road if you want to once it's adjusted you can just tie it off there or lock it off not necessary you can let it dangle down if you want but I just thought it was neater just to sort of lock it off like that I think one of the best things about this was the price it was only $49 AU so you know under 50 bucks Australian uh, it's pretty good and uh, I'll be interested to see how it goes not just grilling ducks or anything but on all sorts of things just to see how long it lasts if there's any issues uh, but it seems to be very good quality nice and heavy so I expect it should last well and do a good job that's what my expectations are and uh, I'm keen to give it a good shot and I'll be doing more videos uh, showing you how this performs so this isn't a review this is just something that I've got and I thought you might like to see it so there you go a TP fire pit grill Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to visit my blog, selfsufficientme.com. I've got a blog article on how to build a fire pit if you want to have a look at that and get some ideas. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now. I won't let it sit out here in the elements. I like the portability of it, so I'll just store it in the shed, I think. Nice and easy.